My name is Brittany. Um, my husband's name is Pete, and this is our son Tanner. He is um, a year old as of last week on August 13th. Um, from day one, he's had symptoms. Um, we didn't know that it would be AHC. Um, he was diagnosed this year, April 21st. Um, he's had, they thought he was having seizures the first day of life, um, and it's, we've come to find out it's severe dystonic episodes with the AHC. Um, he has paralysis every single day. Um, he is averaging, as of this past week or two, he's averaging episodes at least once every other day. Um, that changes all the time. Um, he does require, with the really intense episodes, he requires usually two doses of midazolam um, to get him even settled. Um, so we are fresh in the AHC community. I'm so grateful it's here. We are, we live in Pennsylvania, um, so some of the hospitals around us, they are not familiar with AHC. Um, the specialists are not familiar with AHC. Um, we were with a hospital before, um, and unfortunately they're just not knowledgeable um, in the area um, of AHC. So we have, um, kind of added more specialists, neurologists, um, recently a new cardiologist. We're finding that he's having um, some heart issues. Uh, his heart rate is dropping to 28 um, and 34 and 41 while he's sleeping. Um, and with the specialists that aren't aware of HC, they chalk it up to, it's probably just HC and send us on our way. Um, with the specialists that are interested and motivated in learning about HC and I do have knowledge in that area, um, we are finding finally that we're being heard, um, that the severity of what he's going through really needs to be taken care of. Um, we know 28 heart rate is not normal. <laughs> we know 34 and 41 is not normal. Um, so we are actually headed um, to Duke in a couple weeks and we'll be getting a full, full cardiology workup. Um, as you can see, he's got his heart monitor going. Um, he is hooked up to oxygen and a pulse ox monitor while he sleeps as well. Um, so in, in answer to your question, we found it difficult. It's been quite a journey to get people to listen and to hear us and to know that yes, AHC is what he has, but then what is that? Um, so a lot of times I find myself teaching them, even though I just know our journey so far and that's all that I can teach them. Um, in regards to other supports, um, I get phone calls and I'm able to call different families whenever, whenever and bug them whenever I need to. Um, morning, noon, night, doesn't matter, um, and they've been absolutely amazing for my personal mental health through this entire thing. Um, so in answer to your question, it's been, with specialists in particular, it's been very difficult because it's so rare um, that we need more people <laughs> interested and um, seeing this face and trying to find the cure. <laughs> His episodes are full body. Um, he goes into a crooked fencer position. Um, his head gets stuck up and to the right. His eyes start flickering. One can shoot to the back of his head. Um, one can flicker around and dance. Um, then they'll switch around. Um, he screams in horrible, intense pain. It's a living nightmare. Um, we oftentimes do have to use the midazolam to, to get him calmed down enough. Um, but we're finding now, even with the bits that we've had to use it, he's, he's not responding like he should. Um, so um, it's been difficult. With every medication, Tanner goes opposite. Um, we call it Tanner's way. Since day one, I think our lives will always be Tanner's way. Um, something that should decrease his heart rate makes it sore. Um, something that should put him to sleep makes him an insomniac for two days straight. Um, so, and on top of that, he does have um, something that we're finding more and more challenging. Um, he is getting hiccups um, out of the blue, and I think sometimes he knows when he's getting them. Um, he will stop breathing, he turns purple. Um, and we, it requires us to act quickly and, um, and pat him on the back and get him calmed down enough um, with the hiccups. Um, the little bits of joy that this child gets to experience uh, is laughing. Are you gonna get him now? He 
he's getting on right now. Just keep that rolling. <laughs> So these are hiccups. Um, so far he's okay. Um, it will quite possibly change in a moment's notice. Um, actually no notice at all. Um, with the little bit of joy that Tanner gets to have um, and that we get to have with him, um, laughing also does it to him. It's hard to have to stop your child from laughing. Because joy joyful moments are the things that get us through the next a horrible moment. <laughs> Lately, he's been getting hiccups every single day, uh, multiple times a day. Um... And it's, it's hard. Um, even with him being happy, we know that being happy is also potentially a problem, but the sound of your child laughing, there's, there's nothing in comparison um, that could make your heart happier. And when he does laugh, we know that it's going to be, we're going to pay the price. And um, ultimately, Tanner's going to pay the price. Uh, he'll, he will oftentimes just stop breathing and turn this incredibly dark purple. Um, we have brought it up to specialists, and uh, they are not sure. <laughs> They've never heard this. Um, they don't know what this could be. They think it could be a spasm, but again, they give us some reason um, that comes from wherever, and then we're pushed out the door. Um, and I'm sitting here day after day patting my child's back while he's purple. Um, so it's, it's very frightening. Tanner has the um, P336S mutation. Um, as of right now, it has not been reported um, by anybody else in the world. Um, we've, we personally, um, we find that to be incredibly scary, but the, we try to look at the glass half full. Um, for us, there's no, there's no limits for Tanner. There's nobody else like him in the world. Um, so we have great hope that um, he will go incredibly far, um, but it's the things like the hiccups um, that are the most frightening. Um, it's the things like the cardiology that are most frightening, and um, not that I want any child, adult, anybody with AHC to experience the hiccups like we do, um, with watching him turn purple and knowing he's not breathing, um, but if there is anybody, I cannot wait to find them. Um, like I said, I don't wish it on my worst enemy, but um, I am hopeful that somebody will know something one day. Um, and if they do, I hope, it's, I hope it's reported sooner rather than later. This is a, this is a life of isolation. <laughs> um, this is me looking at four walls of our house every day. Um, there's usually every single day we try to step outside with him and give him so many experiences um, and it, he suffers um, and he has to work with 10 and 15 different bodies in a day um, and I just cannot wait for ah. yeah, I can't wait for help I know somebody somebody will figure it out and that's what keeps us going and I'm appreciative for all that are interested in AHC and all that are researching AHC because this is my entire life for 80 years. So thank you.